one. Good morning, Hickory Ridge. Ridge um, excuse me, Hickory Ridge. It's your boy Judah, and we are here with Jacinda. Jacinda. I'm an arena host for the Charlotte Hornets, and I'm so excited to be with you guys this morning. Yes, ma'am. We are at the Spectrum Center, as you can see, the beautiful. We love it here. And um, I just want to ask you a few questions. Sure. Of course, how are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. We had a career day in sports where we had about 600 students here, where we got to have a panel and talk to, you know, just some of the people that work here for the Hornets to get inside, to get like behind the scenes of what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. And hopefully you guys learn something. Yes, ma'am. I <laughs> love this so much. And what was one of your favorite parts? I know you mentioned like, we just had the media day and you and she talked to a bunch of us students. What was something that you liked about it? What was one of the like favorite questions? What was your favorite part that you always loved telling the mass? What I love the most, I'd probably say when you stood up and asked a question because you were very comfortable, you were very confident, and I could see your gift shining. I absolutely love when students stand up to ask questions. If I could give you two pieces of advice, a lot of times when you walk into a room, you always sit in the back of the class. I love it when people sit at the front seat. Take that front seat so that you can learn and you can take in all the knowledge. Number two, when someone says, do you have a question, comment, or concern, always raise your hand and always give something because it's free publicity for you. So a lot of you guys from your class stood up and ask questions I got to know your school whereas some of the other schools were a little quieter mm. so that's what I really love I love seeing people who are hungry who aren't shy who have questions and want to get answers and that's my that's my best takeaway from today yes because you could build connections but like you you could have no idea of those connections you could build exactly. what is some of the connections that you feel really built that base for where you are now as you said you're a host you have a pretty big position here what was like a key component to that connection that really helps set that uh, base? Well, I have been in radio and TV for over 20 years, as well as hosting, and so I do have an undergrad in communications, and I have a master's in education, but really what it comes down to is your hard work ethic, being humble, being grateful, and always being willing to learn. So when I first started out, it was in the ninth grade, and I realized I loved giving presentations. I love being in the middle of the class, oh and like talking, gosh. and I love the microphone, and I love center stage, so that's when I realized my gift and I started honing in on it so I joined the forensic speech and debate team I started editing and shooting videos I just did everything I could to be better at that gift and I hosted millions of events for free so that I could work on my experience so it's not always about money it's not always about being the best it's about you know just garnering the experience and trying and getting out there and every time I got out there I got better and better and so now you know I've been a three-time NBA all-star host where the NBA brings me out I have worked for the Charlotte okay. Hornets for almost okay. nine seasons I've been on television and radio for a very very long time and and have a lot of amazing opportunities national gigs so it all started from just getting out there trying and, and, and just being humble and wanting to learn well I just gotta say Period. Okay. Period. We see how What's we turn. Yes. And again, thank you so much. We're really starting to see that difference between talent and skill. You really helped show us the difference between the two. Again, thank you so much for thank the interview. You. Thank you. And uh, do you want to close out with anything? I do. I'm so glad you asked that because I had one more thing. I just want you to know that you could do anything that you put your heart to. You can do anything. You have already been qualified in a unique way to walk out your gifts, to walk out your talents. So do not let fear stop you. Do it, do it, do it. And there will be so many people along the way that will help um, help you blossom and bloom into the person that you were created to be. So do it. And yes, ma'am. In our school body, you got to do this with your hands and then say, go Bulls. If you can do that for me. Go Bulls! <laughs> go Bulls, yo. Okay. Boom. All right. Well, well, tonight I expect, expect three.